Hey guys, welcome back to Nietzsche's Live Place with episode 6 of Blackwell Deception. Last we left off, we met Penelope Haynes. She's uh, batshit crazy, so let's keep on asking her questions. Peridot, a stone. Gavin gave it to me. It promotes spiritual <gasps> growth. The she took it before sending me here, like it will do her any good. Can't you get another one? This one was given to me by Gavin. It has special Sh energy, energy inside. Bullshit. It's irreplaceable. Mm, maybe we can get it to her. This Gavin, who is he? Gavin is the one who opened my eyes. Huh. You make him sound like a prophet. Far from it. He's just a man who had his eyes opened, and he helps others do the same. Hmm. He was just a signpost on my spiritual journey. More mm -hmm. like the exit ramp to your personal loony <laughs> bin. Go on, Joey. <laughs> um, let's see. Did you really cut your family out of your will? Sure I did. What of it? Ah. They have everything they need. I'm giving it to a much worthy cause. I the work must continue. I can make sure it does. Huh. I'd like to meet Gavin. You? No. No, I don't believe you're sincere. That reporter, Jeremy. I sent him on his way to Gavin, and it just upset things. <gasps> it upset someone, all right. Upset them enough to kill. Perhaps he wasn't ready. Perhaps he remained closed-minded. Perhaps I should have seen that. Either way, you must find your way to Gavin yourself. Unless you can prove your sincerity. Oh, God damn it! When people say stuff like that, that means they want something. Prove my sincerity? How do I do that? Promote your own spiritual growth. If you don't do that, your eyes will remain forever closed. Oh, dear. Spiritual growth. I'm the only spirit around here, and it's never done me any good. <laughs> True. Um, I could get your peridot for you. You would do that? You'd brave that nest of vipers and retrieve it for me? It's hardly a nest of vipers. That's because you can't see. But if you get it for me, let's just say that helping others is the key to helping yourself. Yeah, I'd uh -huh. like to help myself to some earplugs. Me too. Let's see. Are you sure Madison didn't give you a key? I told you before, she did not give me a key. Well, that would have made it. She hates me, so she wouldn't give me anything. Well, just like you won't give her any money. Oh. Prove my sincerity. How do I do that? Oh. If you don't... Okay. Well, thanks for your time, Mrs. Haynes. Oh, it's been a pleasure. Stop by any time. I just want to know. I have to... Nobody? He's nobody. Why would I want to talk to him? He's nobody. What do you mean he's nobody? Blow air on nobody. Not sure what blowing on that will achieve. Blow money. I ain't gonna waste my breath. I never notice, but like, if you hover over things, he, what is he thinking? Red hair, glasses, intensely awkward expression. It's Rosa Blackwell, all right. <laughs> it's fucked up. Crazy old broad and nobody. But if you switch to Rosa, old man and Penelope Haynes. Come on, let's go. <sighs> so, let's go get the Peridot. Um, take the elevator to the lobby. So, let's see. Pull a hump punch and phone. Phone and hole punch. Okay, it says the same thing. Let's, uh... What does the brochure I have say? Let's go home for a sec. Just so I can see. Uh, pull up, pull up. Brochure. It's a brochure for the Seagram Nursing Home. It's got a big hole punched in it. I guess for hanging on hooks. Hmm. Oh. Stupid. Um, she does look really awkward in this. Let's talk to Haynes. You. Again? Or something, right? Oh. You again. Yep. Hi. Come in. Shut the door. Don't sound so mean. You've literally been standing what? there since I left. Penelope mentioned a Peridot stone. Oh, that thing. She wore it constantly. Believed it contained some spiritual powers or something. I should throw it away. I like it. Can I have the Peridot stone? Why? Penelope would like it back. 
Absolutely not! That trinket just made the problem worse for her. The next time I think of it, I'm just gonna throw it away. Mm. Are you sure I can't take the Peridot off your hands? I think Penelope would really appreciate it. Did you hear what I told you? I said no. How dare you. Okay, goodbye then. Well, I then. better get going. Listen, I appreciate what you're doing, but please don't bother us again. <gasps> We're embarrassed enough by this as it is. I'll do my best. I expect more than that. If any of this shows up in the paper, we'll deny everything. You got that? Okay. Now, Chris and I are meeting my husband for dinner, so if you'll let yourself out. Right, sure. We gotta go get the key. We gotta go get the key. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. No! That's not what I meant to pick! Take the elevator to the counter room. Let's go talk to Penelope. Na -na 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 -na. Mrs. Haynes. Oh, it's you. Uh, About the Peridot. Did you find it? Not yet. Oh, well, that witch probably threw it away. Are you sure, Madison? I told you she hates me, so she... Uh, About the pair. Did you... Not yet. Oh, well. Gotta get the key! Well, Give us the goddamn key, old lady! Oh, it's been a pleasure. Ugh, look for the key. Hey, Red. You filled this one. I'm gonna hold the fort over here. Not bad. I guess retirement's not such a bad gig after all. <gasps> hey, Red. You filled this one. I'm gonna hold the fort over here. He won't go near that guy. Um... Looks like a ball of... Does this belong to anybody? Nobody I know. Help yourself. Yeah. They don't look like the kind that open. They don't look like the... Hello? Can you hear me? Nothing. He's quiet now. Um... See, I have a business card, a press pass, a notebook, a brochure, and some yarn. A ball of yarn that somebody left in the nursing home common room. Um, I have no idea what to do. Um, let's see. I just... I don't know what to do. Let me talk to the nurse, maybe. Hi again. Hello. Thanks for the help. Have a good day. What am I gonna put a hole in? My hands? It's a hole puncher. Hmm. Let's see if I can go back to their house. She didn't want us to come by again. Huh. Let's go home. Uh, I don't have time to do and if I need to Fine. I'm gonna use the phone. Sam Durkin. Google. Jaron. Wait no. Gavin. I don't have a last name, so he could be anyone. Um, There's nothing in there worth taking. Crap. Let's talk. Maybe. Mm. Let's go talk to Jeremy or something. Jeremy. Come. Oh, hi, Rosa. Make yourself at home. Jeremy? Yes. yes. Ketchup. So, did you, I mean, do you still talk to anyone from the old paper? Not really. I was just happy to get away from the place. Yeah. How about you? No, I never even talked to anyone when I was there. You spoke to me. Sometimes. Oh, I guess I must have. I think he liked her. Mm. Remind me. Find Penelope. She'll 
tell you everything you need to know. She didn't, though. Well, I better... Alright. Uh, I guess I'm gonna hate myself, but let's try the Haynes house one more time. Doesn't look like anyone's home. Send Joey in. What am I supposed to do? Sing to it? Yes. Some kind of green trinket. Maybe you could loop your tie around it and then the bring it out to me. won't work on that. Whatever. I'm not sure how blowing my tie is even slightly productive. Shut up. Let's blow the pendant. Not sure what blowing on that will achieve. Uh, for sure. Blow. Not sure what blowing. Crammed to bursting. Okay, so we know. Glossy women's. There's a reason why I keep my glossy women's magazines and tabloid junk. Mm. Great. Cheap plastic crap. And he can't go much further. I really need to get that fucking key. There's nothing key. but a long hallway down this way. I can't go any further. I guess the tethers work more than I thought. Why can't she just kick the door out down? A lot of help that will do. Let's try one more time to get the key from her. Oh. Not much I can do in there. Great. Um, no. <sighs> Ugh, this is frustrating. Uh, take the elevator to the common room. Penelope Haynes. Mrs. Haynes. Oh, it's you. Um, Madison's Are key. you sure Matt? I told she hates me, so she wouldn't give me anything. Really? Because if you could... About the Peridot. Did you find it? Not yet. Oh, well. That witch probably threw it away. Hmm. Well, thanks for your... Oh, it's been a pleasure. I'm guessing that's Penelope Haynes. Wow, the residents here sure get the star treatment. Is there anywhere I can go here? Uh, oh man, how am I supposed to get into the room? Uh, let's go to the High Line or something. Let's just try some different place. Uh, take the elevator to lobby. Jeez, visiting hours much must like last half the night. Let's see. Um, City Post. Hi again. Oh, hi. Thanks again. Sure. Anything I can do to help, just ask. Can you help me break into an apartment? Because that'd be great. Ooh, there's got to be something. I hate when I can't figure out what to do. Oh. Highline. Let's see. Is there anything? That's just morbid. Jeremy, I'm so sorry. Nothing here. So I'm missing something. Is there anything in my house I can use to pick a lock? Just some old articles. I don't need any of those. Like a lock pick or... I don't need any... Out of sight, out of mind. I don't need anything from those cabinets. I don't need to move it. It's... This African ghost drum is supposed to keep ghosts away when you play it. It, um, doesn't. My end table, full of random junk. I'm not tired. Those are old first editions. I don't want to mess with them. My radio listening day stopped when Joey came along. Just some old articles, bills, and reminders. Nothing important. Mm. I don't know what to do. Um, <laughs> article. It's the last article I ever wrote for the Village Eye newspaper. It was about three college kids who committed suicide. It's a poster for a movie called Water Under the Bridge. <laughs> it's fine where it is. I'll change the month later. 
The article is titled, The Rise and Fall of the Meltzer Foundation. I didn't write it, but I did kind of make it happen. Yeah, I'll say. Achievement, Ghosts of the Past! Oh, I forgot, you guys can't see my achievos. But they pop up right here, and I can see what I've done. There's gotta be something I can do. <sighs> think, 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 think. Is there... One more time. Doesn't look like anyone's home. Cool. Send Joey in. Let's see, hover over everything. Uh... Not sure what blowing on that will achieve. Not sure what blowing on that will achieve. It will make me happy. So just fucking do it. Hmm, the numbers on this gizmo went down a bit. It now says 62 degrees. Not sure what the point of that was. Not sure what I can do by... I made the heater go off. I think I've done enough damage here. Hmm. Not sure what blowing on that will achieve. Not sure what blowing on that will achieve. Huh. That is weird. When I feel like it, not much of a pa- Just between you. Just a set of drawers. Does it want a hug? Nope, still a ghost. Still can't pick that up. No, but go through it! Good God! Looks like they forgot to turn the lights off in here. Something... Gotta be something. Pretty generic stuff. They s Look at the dust on that thing. Let's blow some dust out the window. Not sure what blowing... Not sure what... Not bad. If it's all the same, I th Not bad. Hmm... Looks like an old closet to me. No, that's not what Ram I meant to, to do! Door. Mm. I'm not really sure what that does, but... Uh, I guess it's progress. One more time, Penelope, before I call it quits. Right. Not much I can... Elevator. It's really funny, Joe won't come in any farther to the room. Let's see... Mrs. Oh, it... Are you... I told she... Well, uh, thanks for your... Oh, it's been a... Oh, man. Hello? Can you hear me? Nothing. sure what that will accomplish. It'll make me feel better. Uh, stop it. Exit. Business card, press pass. I can't use an object with... I'm not sure what... Hmm. Alright guys, sorry, not much progress this time. Uh, tune in next time. I promise I'll have something done. Uh, like, comment, subscribe if you like this series. Give me a name of a game for my list. Um, it could be a lot longer than it is. I'll see you guys later. Bye.